Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use the int8 version of FSR4 upscaler in conjunction with LSFG in Sekiro. Using LSFG is completely optional. You can play the game with FSR4 only. Now this game does not support any temporal upscaler. So I will be using Uta as free Sekiro TSR mod to add support for DLSS in this game. Then I will be using OptiScaler mod to replace DLSS with FSR4. We need to run the game in borderless full screen display mode in order to use LSFG but the game does not support this display mode. So I will be using Lyle's fix to add support for borderless full screen mode. The game's FPS is capped at 60. Lyle's fix will disable this FPS cap as well. First just download Sekiro TSR mod from Huta's Patreon page. The mod is completely free. Installation instructions have been provided here. We just need to install Reshade version 6.3.3 with full add-on support. Extract the contents of the mod to the game's install directory where the game's main exe file is present. Turn on anti-aliasing, application graphics settings, configure DLSS settings in the reshade overlay. Download this .7z file under the attachment section. Click on it. Download will start. Do not use the latest version of reshade with Hotai's mod, otherwise the game will simply crash when you try to open reshade overlay. I'll show you how to download Reshade version 6.3.3 with full add-on support. Just go to Reshade's website, right click on download Reshade latest version with full add-on support. Just click on copy link address, open a new browser window in the search bar, just paste the line of text that you copied. Now replace 6.6.1 with 6.3.3. Then hit enter. Download will start. See, we'll be using Lyle Sekiro fix to unlock the game's FPS and add support for borderless windowed mode. Download from Codebug's website. I'll give its link in the description. Click on release under installation section. Latest version 0.0.1. Download expanded. Click on the zip link here. This game uses the x 11 API, so no support for XCSS or FSR frame generation. I'll be using version 0.7.9 of OptiScaler mod. You can download this build for free from OptiScaler's GitHub page. We'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it, click on the .7z link here. FSR SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the intake version of FSR 4 of Scaler. These files could be used to compile an FSR 4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the go file link here. This page will open up. From here, you need to download AMD Fidelity FS Upscaler GX12.tll file. Click on download next to it. Download will start. These are the files that we just downloaded. First, I'll install Sekiro TSR mod. Open its archive file. Select all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Copy need to paste them in the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files paste everything here hotas mod has been installed now i'll be installing lyle sekiro fix open its archive file select all of the files present inside this archive file except for extract to game folder right click copy need to paste these files in the games install directory right here lyle's fix comes with an asi loader so i'll be using the file name optiscaler.asi for optiscaler's loader file after installing lyle's fix we need to manually enable full screen borderless mode via sacrofix.ini file just open it under borderless windowed section set enable to true by default it's set to false click on file save close now i'll install optiscaler mod just open its archive file select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini optiscaler.dll libxcss.dll vulcan version of ltfx not required select all of the dx12 versions of ltfx files right click copy need to paste these files in the games install directory right click manage click on browse local files paste everything here now just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to optiscaler.asi if the file extension is not visible on your pc just click on view here 
go to show and check this setting file name extensions select the file right click rename change the extension from .tll to .asi that's it will be disabling optiscaler's txjs spoofing feature just open optiscaler.ini this file is present in the directory where you install optiscaler mod scroll down until you find spoofing section there it is from here just set txj to false click on file click on save close now i'll be installing the intake version of fsr for upscaler just copy its amd fidelity fx upscaler tx12.tll file that you download it from reddit need to paste it in the games install directory where we install optiscaler mod replace the existing file and we are done now i'll install reshade just run its exe file version 6.3.3 with add-on support ok from this list look for sekiro and just type it there is the game select it next second option selected directx 10 11 12 next default effect selected up to you next selecting add-ons is optional next finish that's it first i'll run the game without lsfg you can even run the game with afmf 2.1 but it causes some ghosting around the game's hurt elements so i don't recommend it free sync free sync anti lag settings enable i have set the uma buffer size to 4 gb my ally is running on pass version 342 install ally's latest official gpu driver that i had support for battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile all three power values set at 27 watts 900p resolution CPU boost disable. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Quickly show you LSFG settings. Type set to LSFG 3.1. Mode fix. Multiply 2. LSFG will try to double the FPS. Flow scale maxed out. Not using LSFG's performance mode. Not using any of lossless scaling subscaling algorithms. Sync mode set to default, max frame latency set to 3, draw FPS setting on, capture API TXGI Q target 1, clip cursor setting on, hotkey combo for enabling LSFG control alt and S, start as admin setting on, minimize the app, launch the game. Game started, of the scalar prompt can be seen in the bottom left corner, V-shaped prompt can be seen at the top of the display. You can even play the game in online mode with all of these mods installed. See online. Okay, just open reshade menu by pressing the home keyboard key. I'll hide reshade's FPS counter. Just zoom in. Text is a bit small. Skip tutorial. Click on it. Click on settings. Scroll down to the end. Uncheck show FPS setting. Yeah, reshade FPS counter is gone. This is the mod menu for Hotai's mod, DLSS mode, just set it to quality, preset, does not matter, sharpening can be adjusted from here, enable the setting, I'll just set the sharpening level to 70%, it's up to you, STR brightness 1, we are done with Hotai's mod, close the menu by pressing the home keyboard key. In game settings, just set the screen mode to windowed. Lyle's fix will make the game run in borderless full screen mode. I have set the resolution to 900p. Automatic rendering adjustment disabled. Advanced setting from here make sure anti lasering application is enabled. Depth of field motion blur disabled. Texture quality, reflection quality, and water surface quality set to high. Rest of the settings set to medium. Once the game loads up, just open. Optiscaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. FSR 2.2.1 upscaler is selected by default. Click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select FSR 3.x W forward slash TX12 option. Click on change upscaler again. This will select the intake version of FSR 4 upscaler. DXTS spoofing it's off. Auto exposure setting it's on. Models set to default. It automatically selected model 0 which corresponds to the ultra quality preset of in-game upscaler and FSR anti lasing with native resolution I was not able to change the model manually tried selecting 
model 1 it did not work current model 0 so just check the setting non-linear srgb input otherwise you will observe some ghosting around the character model this should fix the ghosting issue i will also enable optiscalers performance only expand fps only section check the setting fps only enable full plus graph scale 1.3 base resolution 1068 by 600 pixels upscale to 900p resolution save and close here yeah, this is the intake version of fsr4 upscaler and check out the image quality it's looking so sharp so clean moving the camera around not observing any ghosting around our character model no ghost trails are produced around these floating particles and you can see FPS is close to 80 Lyle's fix is working it disable the game's 60 FPS cap animation quality it's buttery smooth not observing any screen tearing combat time Tag at the enemy, beautiful. FPS can be variable. Okay, we are now hitting the GP bottleneck here, so it seems the game's performance is limited by the CPU performance or the memory bandwidth. Okay, now I'll show you how to use LSFG. I'll just change the position of OptiScaler's performance overlay in bottom right LSFG hotkey combo, control alt and s open Sekiro's adrenaline settings disable vsync enable radiant chill settings and apply a 58 fps cap set idle and peak fps values to 58 Resume the game. Your yeah, base FPS drop to around 47 FPS with frame generation around 98. Not observing any significant artifacts around the character model. No ghosting is produced. Games hard elements, they are not flickering. LSFG is definitely usable in this game. And this is the real world input delay. Minor increase in latency. It's completely up to you if you want to use LSFG or not. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Block all of the attacks. Not bad. VRAM usage is around 3 GB only. Almost hitting the GP bottleneck. So very good results produced by FSR 4 upscaler and LSFG in this game that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day